What's up, everybody? Welcome to Spot Spot and welcome to Slob Guns on Tour. We're at Chacho 2025, and I'm at a booth that I'm very excited to be at. Um, I think as a precision rifle shooter, as a competitor, whether it's handguns, pistols, or even archery, uh, you need one of these products. And I'm here with Guy from Lab Radar and Infinition. Thank you for having me over here. And I wanted to pick your brain because there have been a lot of questions. So we did a video on this guy. I think right now, by far, it is the finest. I mean, I hit, for lack of a better word, chronograph. Um, and right as I was doing the video, I get a surprise email. It's like, hey, we added this awesome new functionality that we couldn't demonstrate in that video. Uh, but I wanted to discuss it today. So, Guy, um, thank you, first, first of all, for keeping your promise. I knew it was possibly happening. Uh, but this guy now calculates BC yeah. right in the unit. So people want to know, is it really true and how do you do it? <laughs> All right. So let me do a quick introduction. So this is a Labrador Relic. It's really a small chronograph compact that you guys are using for long range, high precision velocity measurement. But Hart Company also manufactures these big radars, right? These are the neck plus ultra for defense industry, ammunition manufacturer, all the latest uh, development that you've seen in the last 15 to 10, 10, 15 years have been done in the, uh, with these big radars. What we do is we measure drag over a really long range, Okay. right? So this is important to understand because from that experience that we provide to all the NATO countries and partners, uh, we use some advanced calculations in the LX. We've put it inside the unit. So what we do is we measure the velocity hundreds of thousands of points. And then from that, we do advanced mathematical analysis to find the velocity. Okay. And from all those hundreds of points in the velocity, then we do drag extraction inside the okay. unit, real drag, right? So we do it using the uh, uh, advanced algorithms, okay. with the barometric pressure, temperature, and you know, uh, bullet diameter and everything you required. And then from that, we calculate the BC from all the data in there. So okay. it's not just one point, it's not the number of points that is specified at the beginning. It's really adapted to how much data you can gather with the unit. Okay. And from that, it does remove the noise, it does compensate for parallax error and everything. And then you get a BC that is really good. And how do you get the BC to be really okay. good with that device? You fire 20 to 30 shots and the BC is calculated with that sampling because okay. you need sampling to get a good BC, right? And that's how we get the BC. So the BC in there is really good. It's really well made. Okay. Of course, you don't have all the data from this big radar, right? You don't measure up to two kilometers or whatever. But still, with the capability inside of that, we're able to push the limits to give you really an accurate value okay. as much as possible. So over like what type of distances does it actually calculate the BC? So obviously, for my understanding, for my elementary understanding of calculating BC, you need the velocity at one point, you need the velocity at a second point, and then you can kind of uh, get that number from there. How does the LX do it? And I guess if you can talk about, okay, well, what about the OG lab radar itself? Okay, well, usually the LX will have a measurement in between 10 to 30 meters, okay. right, of range, depending on the projectile, the shape of it, okay. the conditions, right? And from that, it will take as much data as it can. Okay. It will calculate the BC inside of that uh, extension, but it's not using only two points. Okay, so it's not that's from your experience, and so that's good. But in our case, we do it with all the points that okay. we have. So we do a lot of calculations, and from that we get you the number. So it's not just not one numbers or uh, that is put out from two points. Okay, it's multiple hundred of points that are used to calculate that BC using advanced statistical analysis, right? Okay. So it's that's why we cannot like okay. give you the exact recipe because it's really complex and advanced in terms of ballistics analysis. Yeah. But it, that's why also it is much better than you would expect. Okay, so I guess kind of like I, the reason why I brought up two is because there's yeah. almost kind of like this redneck philosophy of you can take two uh, optical chronographs, yeah. shoot them, set them up at various distances, and try to shoot for both of them to kind of get the velocity distance, and you can do it yourself. Versus, well, obviously you don't need to do that anymore. You can just do that with this. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is that with those, uh, you, you know, light screen chronograph, you're not as precise. You yeah. get a lot of errors, one, five, ten percent sometimes, okay. because of the way it is set up, right? That's the way. This thing is 0.1 percent. So from that most precise measurement, mm -hmm. you have better precision in the measurement, you have better measurement also calculation of the BC, right? And the way we calculate it is totally different okay. than those two points. Those two points can give you a number and it's okay, but I mean, we can push 
this way beyond with that device. Okay, so you have a long range shooter, they yeah. purchase the Lab Radar LX, they download yeah. the app. How would they go to the range? So say, I'm going to the range, I wanna start figuring out what is my true BC of a bullet so I can update my ballistics apps. How would they set, How would they do it? What do they need to do? Well, first, what they need to do is create a new series. Okay. Because the BC will be calculated from one series in particular. Okay. So you go into the menu and you go to new series, just like that. And once the series is created, we wanna make sure you're in the right uh, mode, but then you go into projectile right okay. there. And in the projectile menu, you will enter the weight and the caliber of the projectile, right? So this is required for the calculations. So let's say I put my weight, it was already set up, of course. And then I will go into the meteorology information and then put my temperature and my barometric pressure. Okay. Because those are used in calculations for the drag okay. and BC. So once these are all inputted from the tools that you have to have been reading, then you go back, you fire 20 to 30 shots. Okay. And if you look at the bottom, we can scroll to the different sections. This is the series, uh, yeah, this is the display pages. And if we go to the different pages on page three, you have G1 and G7. We can see it much better on the yeah. display right there. So these numbers are given G1 and G7, depending on the model that you prefer to use. And then you get your V average on the page number three of the display, right? Okay. So this is given for, a, for any given series, you will get those numbers. Okay. So for the weather environmentals, yeah. um, is there, do you have to put it in manually? Is there a way for the lab radar LX to figure it out by itself? Uh, or is there any way, let's say maybe functionality in the future that let's say we can hook it up with a Kestrel app or something like that, that can automatically transfer it back and forth. So right now you have to input those values okay. manually. Uh, so there's no connectivity when, uh, okay. from our app to other devices, but you just input it manually from your Kestrel, for example, okay. and take precise measurement and you put it in there and that's it. Okay, so if someone, let's say for example, they don't have a Kestrel, uh, yeah. What are your suggestions for someone getting the weather environmental? Well, of course, you can go online and okay. get your local measurements of okay. the temperature, pressure, you know, and everything yeah. that's required. It's still possible, but it's always more precise if you do it okay. locally with any device, right? So let's say, for example, someone doesn't have a weather meter and let's say they just yeah. go online. Let's say the temperature is a couple of degrees off. What type of an impact would that have on the actual BC calculations? So we'll drift the BC a little bit, but the BC also has a... Uh, uh, it's not like a full drag model that okay. is used in advanced ballistic. It, 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 it is allowed for some error. Let's say the number okay. at the end changes by uh, 3%, whatever. Okay. So, Let's see a lot of different. So it's not, right? it's, it's not going to be a meaningful number unless you're no. shooting extreme long range where every little bit counts. Exactly. Even if you have a degree of difference or whatever, then it's not okay. too huge, right? Yeah. So like, one of the things that I definitely love about the LX, and when you kind of explain, when we were talking about this and you explained the process, where this is almost kind of like you was built like in a Tesla ecosystem. Yeah. You're getting the hardware, but it's all upgradable. And we we're discussing, so I remember the first time we talked, I gave you like a bullet point list of like yeah. this, 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 this. You're like, yep, we can do this, this, this. And like I said, the cool part is, it's not like you're just buying the unit and whatever is stuck with, that's what it is, we're limited by hardware. So if someone has an idea or suggestion, or if there's a way to make it easier, that's something that might be possible going forward. Yeah. Exactly. So there's a full uh, full bone uh, operating system in okay. there. So we've added like the BC. We've redone the uh, the way we display the data. Okay. Uh, we're coming uh, with an upgrade within like two two and a half months with uh, some surprises for you guys. We did not uh, okay. give it to you, but it should be really interesting. And you guys that have purchased the device already, you will get the free upgrade of the, with the awesome. new feature. And the guys that are getting the device, it's the same device. So you're still getting all the updates and no one is left behind, right? Okay. And we can do way more than what we're doing, like a dynamic uh, selection of a display, what yeah. we display, uh, we are looking into that. Uh, we So definitely we'll be looking to add way more capabilities into that same device yeah. for you guys not to have to buy another one yeah. know, from time to time, right? Because I mean, like obviously as gun owners, I mean, precision rifle shooting, it's not a cheap sport. I mean, it could be, a fairly good price, but at the same time, you almost don't want to feel like you're being nickel and dimed. It's like, oh, here's a cool new feature, but you got to go upgrade the device or something like that. So, I mean, realistically, if someone invests in an LX, yeah. they can feel fairly certain that we're not going to have an outdated device in a couple of weeks. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And you know, it's all about precision too. So um, you have to make sure that the number that you get are good because uh, we have a few uh, users like uh, Paul Phillips and other yeah. advanced shooters. They perform really well, they use our stuff, they know it works great, right? When we throw a number, we know that number is good. 
And this is important that all comes from our experience with the big radar yeah. so over the past 25 years, right? Supplying defense and everything. So everything that good guys own currently, like the solvers and even like the uh, custom drag model from applied ballistics, yeah. they come from our systems, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, what you get as a measurement for ballistics okay. is really precise. It's not anything, right? Okay. Just so the BC calculation, one of the cool parts about the LX, so when people cross shop different types of chronographs, whether it's a magneto speed or an optical, or a Doppler radar is, well, what type of projectiles and where are you gonna be trying to measure it? So as I kind of say, the Magneto Speed is a fantastic product, but if you wanna use the handguns, 22s, uh, BBs, airsoft, things like that, archery, you're not gonna be able to do that versus you can with the LX. The BC calculation, is that only gonna be just for rifles? Does it need to be in any particular type of range or can that be used across the board? It can be used across, across the board, so it has been used for uh, uh, even 22 LR for okay. by people testing it for fun, but they, they, they did find that it was doing a really good job. Yeah. And uh, some people want to do it also with air rifles, okay. and uh, we know that there's a GA that exists as well that we can calculate. So okay. we'll get into that, maybe we'll add that feature okay. into the device. And talking about also, you know, versatility and upgrades, at the beginning it was taking about two and a half second for measuring the, to measure the velocity. Yeah. And now we're close to one second yeah. with the same unit. So we have improved the algorithms and used some acceleration hardware that we had that yeah. wasn't in use to bring more capabilities. So that means for end guns, you don't have to hold your uh, you, your gun way longer in the air for no reason. So you can do, go really fast in the yeah. uh, And if you guys have seen my video, I mean like, you are talking about like you keep, keep improving the speeds and the calculations. And when we were having the conversation beforehand, I honestly in my head thought that this was gonna be a little bit slower than some of the competing products. But when we ran them side by side, in the vast majority of the cases, the LX actually did the calculation faster yep. than the competing product. So it's, I mean, it's a great product, but it's nice to know that you guys keep thinking that, hey, how else can we improve it? How else can we improve it? And doing the best for the community. Yeah, we're still getting another update. Uh, I don't know if it's this week, but it's uh, as yet another 0.2 second faster. So at the end, you know, it makes product way more, way, way cooler to use. It's way nicer. The expert use experience much better, right? Yeah. So a uh, question for you on the update. So Labrador now currently, I mean, it's almost like you get a product. There's like almost a regular update happening very soon. Yeah. Um, if someone's purchasing an LX, yeah. Um, will their unit be shipped with the latest updates uh, or will somebody need to get it and then go back and have to do the firmware updates? So every new unit that we ship to, okay. our, distribu to our distributors or resellers has the latest firmware. Okay. If it takes some time for them to run, then it might be outdated because okay. it has been on the shelf for a, a few weeks, okay. a few months. So then you want to make sure to go on a website, okay. labradar.com go and download section and everything is explained how to do it. You just connect using USB-C to your computer Perfect. and you transfer the file in a drive that is called firmware update. Yeah. So it's that easy and then you reboot and that's it. Very, very new cool. features, new stuff and very, very like a new cool. device, right? Yes. Like I said, and honestly, so when Guy first reached out, he was like, hey, he's like, thank you for your feedback. Let me send you out an LX, go play with it and just give me your feedback. And like I said, when I got it, it's like, I was just completely blown away by the ease of use and just the functionality. And I was just like, I was like, okay, I gotta do a video with it. I gotta share it with the community. And I'm really, really glad I did. But most of all, I'm really glad that Labrador and Infinition is like, hey, we wanna be a part of the community. Let us know what you think. Um, and you really wanna improve the products and you're here for people. So yeah, exactly. that's great to hear. Um, so where can people find more information on the Labrador LX and where can they go purchase one? So you can go on our website, mylabradar.com, and on our website, you'll find all the information about where are, where can you purchase the device. There is a uh, dealer locator, okay. and we have also new distributors that have been set up. So we'll read our QPR from other countries to Europe, South Africa, Australia, whatever. And in the US, you can find the dealers directly on our website. Very cool. All right, so that is the new Labrider LX. Well, you've seen it already on the channel, but more specifically, how the BC is calculated. Uh, Guy, thank you very much. Thank you, Mixer. Um, as always, let me know what you think. Hopefully that answered your questions and addressed uh, any concerns you might have had. And let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Keep on squatting, and we'll see you in the next video linked up here.